Instagram was founded in the year 2010 by Kevin Sistrom and Mike Krieger, and was later acquired by Facebook, now known as Meta Platforms. Originally released for iOS in October of 2010, Instagram instantly blew up in popularity, having 1 million registered users in only 2 months, 10 million in 1 year, and 1 billion by June 2018. Kevin and Mike began developing the app in San Francisco initially as Bourbon, but then realized it was too similar to Foursquare, which led them to refocus its function to photo sharing, renaming it to Instagram, which means Instant Camera or Telegram. On March 5, 2010, Kevin closed a $500,000 seed funding round with Baseline Ventures and Andresine Horowitz, which propelled the project into completion, allowing Mike to post the first ever Instagram post at South Beach Harbor Pier 38 four months later. In this video, we will look into the history of Instagram and how Kevin Sistrom and Mike Krieger created the next generation of social media platform. Welcome to Lifehack Academy. On this channel, we study the habits and routines of successful people, world-class performers and athletes, hoping to make better versions of ourselves each day. Before we get into it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and click on the notification bell icon. Mike Krieger, born March 4, 1986, is a Brazilian-American entrepreneur and software engineer who moved to California in 2004 to study at Stanford University, where he met Kevin Sistrom. Kevin, born December 30, 1983, is also an American computer programmer and entrepreneur who officially became Instagram's first CEO, with Mike working in the company as CTO. Kevin came up with the idea of creating bourbon while on a vacation in Mexico with his girlfriend, who was unwilling to post her photos because they didn't look good enough taking pictures from the iPhone 4 camera. Sistrom thought that the solution to this was to use filters to hide the qualitative inferiority of photos, leading him to develop the X-Pro2 filter, which is still being used on Instagram today. Bourbon was designed by Mike and Kevin as an HTML5 check-in service that allowed users to check into locations, make plans in the future, earn points for hanging out with friends, post pictures, and much more. After recalling their studies at the Mayfield Fellows program, the duo realized that Bourbon contained too many features and was becoming more complicated than ever before, which was what the users didn't want. They decided to get rid of a lot of features and trim it down specifically to photo sharing with the use of filters leading to its rebranding as Instagram. A month after officially launching Instagram, it instantly exploded, growing up to 1 million users after a year and 10 million users in two years. As of April 2012, Instagram was being downloaded more than 1 million times in less than one day, which caught the attention of the giant social media company Facebook. Bought for over $1 billion in cash and stock, Facebook acquired Instagram on September 6, 2012 just before the company's scheduled initial public offering, or IPO. Mark Zuckerberg told the users that Facebook is committed to building and growing Instagram independently, allowing Sistrom to continue to lead Instagram, at the same time granting him unlimited resources from a juggernaut partnership with Facebook. In an interview, Kevin stated that Instagram will be the future of sharing and communication in today's social media world. During the early days, most of the engineering and user experience were developed by Krieger, Recalling that when Instagram went down at 3.30 in the morning, he had to stressfully revive the site in a completely drunken state. Instagram today has over 1 billion users and contributes over $20 billion to Meta Platform's annual revenue, a crazy change to when it was bought by Facebook for $1 billion with only 13 employees. In 2014, Kevin Sistrom was listed in the Forbes 30 under 30 list under social and mobile category and has an estimated net worth of $1.3 billion as of 2022. Instagram has been able to help businesses through the promotion of commercial products and services and has given birth to an entire new generation of celebrities and influencers. So this was how Kevin and Mike modified the next generation of social media through Bourbon, or now called Instagram. Hopefully you liked this video and found value in its content. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn the notifications on, and I'll see you on the next video.